I've got the shock towers mounted back up on there after taking them off and cleaning up the areas where I'm going to be welding. So I've got the uh, paint stripped off of certain areas. I did some weld through primer underneath and then kind of buried the metal right in the middle of it just so it wouldn't necessarily be right on top of the weld through. Uh, it doesn't weld that great when you do that. Um, I stuck the level and everything back under it, uh, re realigned the you know, front to back of the car um, on my indicator marks and uh, have it lined up and everything looks like it's in the right place. So um, I've got it, it's, it's even from, from the forward hole there to, or the inboard hole in the uh, shock tower to the center line and then same thing on the other side. So the two going together uh, line up uh, really well. Um, so I think I'm really about as aligned as I'm going to get. So I'm going to try to at least get these bottom welds uh, put in along with each, each side of the shock tower. So I'll get the um, get these over you know, on the ends and then across the middle and then on the, on the back side there also. And then come around to the other side and uh, hit those to not get those uh, welded down to. Um, I, I got I really only put one spot well in the middle, but I'm going to run a bead on the edge of that uh, flange on both sides. So just run a, run a bead right along there uh, on both of them, just to kind of just a little stitch, just to tie it down. The ones that were on there originally on the car weren't held down. I mean, some of them were held down much harder than they should have been, but it seemed like it was kind of a hodgepodge of welding. Um, I am going to be putting the plates in there in the bottom to go across to beef up the bottom uh, to kind of triangulate that uh, uh, the, the beef up plates that are you know kind of run run through this area. Uh, I'm going to install those later and uh, and tie that in and then um, I may also run a little bead right on uh, on you know along these edges here as well um, and then uh, on this side over here. I'm going to do the spots, but then I'm probably going to put some stitches along the bottom. I may even weld it in solid. I, don't, I haven't decided yet. I'm going to be getting the, you know, the big block uh, beef up plates to put on the, on the shock towers as well when I get a little further along. Um, so try to at least make them as rigid as possible and, uh, and kind of go from there. So anyway, so that's where it's at at this point, and I'm going to start welding. What I'm trying to do is go a little lower. I'm 
trying to prep these spots in here so I have to get the weld through primer off some of those areas that are exposed otherwise it's going to weld like royal crap so I mean the weld through primer is really only supposed to be a barrier around the welds underneath the metal not really through the weld that's why it spits and sputters sometimes when you burn into that stuff it really just doesn't like it As you can see, I just basically ran a bead on the uh, adjust the camera a little bit. Just ran a bead on the on the left side of that tab, and then I filled the hole. Same thing. I, you could do it. You could probably could just do the bead on the edge. You wouldn't have to do the, the uh, you know rosette or whatever you want to call it. But it, you know, it doesn't hurt to tie down the middle of that little tab either, because I have seen them crack. The one I had before was cracked next to the weld, so it wouldn't surprise me. But if you can tie it down a little more, even it's probably a little bit better. I have to clean all this crap up, but you know that's that's the general idea. Yeah, you can see this one's sticking up, so it's gonna have to be pinched down just to get a good edge tack on it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to come back and probably put some more beads. I'll do some stitching along the bottom edge of that, like I said, underneath the, uh, sorry, I see my hand there, uh, you know, along, along the edge, the bottom edge. I'll probably stitch down a little more. And I do want to get some brackets. You know, once I get the aprons and everything, I still, I wouldn't even mind doing, you know, L's in here and stuff like that, just to kind of really lock this thing in where it can't go anywhere. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's it just, you know, want to make sure it's nice and solid and can't, can't move anywhere. So uh, that'll pretty much do it for now.